What's up, Battlefielders? This is Aaron Sampson from GameSpot, giving you a guide to Karg Island. Prepare to leave the cozy confines of an amphibious landing ship and hit the beach to take an oil refinery under murderous fire. Heed this map guide or end up the battle log stats equivalent of the Bay of Pigs. Starting off, you'll find yourself in the launch area of an amphibious landing ship. Behold, your tools of beach-going destruction lay before you. Downstairs, you will find armored personnel carriers, infantry fighting vehicles, and fast boats. Upstairs on the flight deck, you'll find a helicopter and a jet. Access the upper deck through the doors behind you at the back of the landing bay. Before you get started, take a minute to look around, just this one time though. You're the sharp end of a small fleet of ships. Far off to your right, you'll see two LCACs, and ridiculous acronym aside, it's a waste of time to go to them in order to retrieve their tanks. These LCACs come ashore on their own during the second zone in rush mode. I went out there, and a very nice recon soldier swung by and picked me up when I was done sightseeing. Now that you have your mobile of choice, if you're in an APC or infantry fighting vehicle, book it for the main beach. At the very start of the round, a couple of jets drop bombs that create smoke screen and obscures the defender's vision, but only for a brief moment. Fast boats can make it in time for a surprise attack, but not heavier vehicles. Where to the defenders, you're gonna look a little bit like this. Use the boost button to make sure you're traveling at optimal speed. For the X360, it's a click of the left stick. For those who grabbed a fast boat, you have three zones you can make it to ahead of the main force. There's the lagoon to the left, the main beach, the two peninsulas, or the open ocean side of the map on the far right. If somebody wants to be a sport, they can go to the end of the flight deck, grab that mounted cannon that fires a crazy number of bullets, and use it to spot the entire enemy force. This will allow your team to choose the most tactically positive landing area. And I use the term tactically positive loosely here. You can also be nice and shoot down enemy air assets while you're at it. Jet and helicopter pilots, I recommend going out to sea on the far right side of the map, staying low, and circling back around when you get to the oil refinery. Do your best to destroy enemy tanks on the beachhead. So let's say you made it to shore. Take stock of who made it with you. If you're the last guy standing, hang around and wait for your squad mates to pop out of your butt. If you're a recon, drop that spawn beacon now. Every single time you make a trip from your ship to shore, you will lose tickets. Tactically, there isn't a lot to know about the first zone. The first objective is outside at a missile launching pad at the center of the beach itself. The second MCOM is just up the beach a bit further inside of a comm shed. The first MCOM is in the open, so use a vehicle to block it from view while someone arms it. The second MCOM is inside an enclosed space, so get plenty of grenades in both doors before you go in yourself. Expect prone defenders on the floor. So you've blasted two MCOMs to stat heaven. Good job. Turn around and watch the two LCACs bring a tank and some Humvees ashore. Use these vehicles because defenders have vehicles too. Cresting the ridge, you will now observe zone two. It's a gas station with an oil pipeline extending out over the water. The two MCOMs are very close to one another and now the attackers are fighting downhill and defenders uphill. Remember the defenders get a head start so they'll probably be spotting you as you come over the main highway. Humvees, get your four wheels down to the rear of the gas station as fast as possible and become mobile spawn points or at least interrupt defender momentum. The trick to zone two is infantry is the shoreline. There's an almost completely covered route to the first MCOM that's located in a depression between two oil pipelines. You can crawl all the way up from the water and arm the crate. When it starts playing the angry siren, get back to the point where the pipeline comes out of the water as quickly as possible, go prone, and shoot defenders in the back as they go for the disarm. If you're lucky, you won't be located and might get a good chunk of their team. Did the MCOM go boom? Run along the seawall. Before you get to the second MCOM, overshoot it a little bit and go out of bounds. Now turn to your left. See the recon guy sniping up on the hill there? Make him not there anymore. If your team's good, they'll have already armed the second MCOM, so hang out and shoot defenders in the back. If you need to arm the MCOM yourself, wait for your tank or other forces to show up. You cannot defend it alone. Overwhelm the defenders with force and move on. Notice you'll be able to return to the ship at any time and pick up your jet or helicopter. If you're good at flying, feel free to do so. If you're bad at flying, jets are an excellent way to get to an MCOM at high velocity. You will now climb out of the gas station and find yourself in an oil enrichment complex at zone 3. Your first objective is to your right along the seaside. Good old seaside. This is the easiest to get to and you should go there first. If the defenders haven't blown up the concrete walls around the MCOM, you should have a good bit of concealment so get to it, arm it, go prone, and defend it till it ain't no more. 
The second MCOM is a bit trickier. It's on the second story of a vulnerable open building at the center of the map. I personally haven't unlocked smoke from my assault class yet, but this situation is pretty much what smoke was invented for. Also, the building has anti-take rocket launchers on them that will need to be suppressed if the defenders are occupying said building. Keep in mind those launchers can be completely destroyed with tank rounds, rockets, or C4, and if defenders are manning them, it's always easier to take them out from the top gun on the tank, not the main gun. If you have time earlier in the zone, you may want to take out those anti-tank missiles in preparation. To arm the second crate, the name of the game is to either have your armored forces push forward and make a bulge around the building, or assault the building by having some of the team hang back and shoot defenders off the structure, while other attackers crawl across the open second floor. Once armed, all you really have to do is dominate the two staircases to keep defenders out. This is my house. Okay, so you blew those two up. Get ready to leave oil refinery town and head to the warehouse in zone 4 to blow up the last two objectives. Toward the end of our time on K Island, we discover that a player can get into an A-10 back at the landing ship and quickly fly it to the roof of the warehouse, eject, and set up a spawn area there. The main advantages of this tactic is that the roof can't be destroyed and is hard to access from the ground. So support class mortar tubes aside, you're pretty safe up there. If you want to be more vanilla in your approach, take the central road, coastline to the right, or industrial shipping container area to the left to get there. Tanks have a disadvantage on this later portion of the map as they're forced into close quarters combat where they're easy prey for C4, rockets, or other explosives. Defenders will be inside in the dark for the most part, which gives them the advantage, since you will be in broad daylight. Effective tactics here, other than the roof spawn point, mostly revolve around flanking the building from the seaside or getting into a fast vehicle and getting to the rear of the hangar where you can shoot defenders in the back or steal their tank. But you can't drive the tank through the walls of this hangar, so don't bother trying. Most failures to take the last crates we've seen revolved around getting bottlenecked outside the warehouse. So get someone inside, get the squad together, and then go for that MCOM. Did it go boom? Good job, Battlefield guy or girl. You just survived Karg Island. Hope you enjoyed our overview of this multiplayer map. As always, we enjoy having your tips and tricks in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and have fun out there on the battlefield.